This practice, this short, gentle practice is perfect for you to set an intention either at the beginning of the day or the end of the day. So come into a comfortable seated position, connecting to your breath and your body. Noticing where your mind is, noticing the connection between your mind, your body, and your spirit. This gentle, relaxing practice will guide you to connect to your body, mind, and spirit, to tap deep within, setting an intention, perfect for the beginning of the day or the end of the day. Let's start with grounding the connection between the body, the mind, and the spirit with a breathing exercise. If you wish to take your left hand on your belly and your right hand on your chest. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale. Hold the breath out. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale, hold the breath out, one more time, inhale, hold the breath, exhale, hold the breath out, gently relax. Allow your palms to open, resting on top of your knees, your thighs facing up. Tap into your spirit. What is it that your heart desires? Set that intention. Take that intention with hands in prayer pose, lifting that intention high up to the heavens, releasing it to the universe. And as you release it, trusting and believing that your intention will be granted to you in perfect divine time. As you gently sweep your fingertips down to the ground, flickering the eyes open as we move into our first posture. Bring the soles of the feet together. Yogi's choice, if you would like the soles of the feet close to the sit bones or further away. And with a deep inhale and a straight back, you can lift your arms high up to the heavens if that resonates with you or resting your hands on your shins. Deep inhale, gently coming forward, folding from the hips. And when you come to your point of resistance, pause there a moment. Eyes can be open, gently gazing at something, or you can gently close the eyes. Taking another deep inhale. And on this exhale, completely fold forward. And as you fold forward, allow the head, the neck, and the shoulders to release. Allow yourself to feel safe and supported from the earth, the ground beneath you, giving yourself the place in this space to melt into this posture, focusing on your intention as you go deep within, repeating your intention silently to yourself. 
and enjoy the experience. On the next inhale, tuck the chin into the chest and gently bring the head, the neck, and the shoulders upright to a straight spine. And once you reach that straight spine, bring the knees together. Extend the legs out in front of you, shake them out. And maybe tap them if you wish. Yogi's choice, listening to that body intuition. Coming over into tabletop. We'll take a couple cat cows to get that energy moving and releasing the energy from the root of the spine through all the chakras and out the crown of the head. So inhale, dropping the belly high up to the heavens. And then exhale, tucking the chin into the chest. Curling the spine, moving with your breath, moving with grace so that you can release any tension and at the same time create flexibility.
bringing the spine to central, neutral. Stepping the right foot in between the hands. We're going to move down into pigeon pose. So allow yourself to gently bring the right knee behind the right hand. Extending the left leg out behind you. Checking that your right leg is in line with your left hip, left leg with the left hip. Taking a deep inhale up on your hands. And when you're ready, folding forward, bring the head down to the ground. If that's in your practice today, maybe this is in your practice today up on the hands, Maybe it's up on the elbows, wherever your body is asking you to go, honor it. And if you need any support under the right hip, take a pillow or blanket so that the hips are even. Allow the head and the neck and the shoulders, wherever you are, to release down and let go. Focusing on your intention. On the next inhale, gently raise the head, the neck, and the shoulders, coming to an upright spine, rolling over onto the right hip and taking the left leg around, placing the left foot on the outside of the right knee. Take a deep inhale with a straight back. Yogi's choice, you can stay here, maybe wrap your left elbow around your left knee and twisting over to the right, maybe taking the left arm high up to the heavens and twisting with the elbow on the inside of the left knee. Wherever you are, staying focused, connecting the breath to the body, the mind to the spirit, focusing on your intention. Gently exhale and release. Come the opposite way for a little counter twist. Moving through tabletop again. Coming up onto hands and knees. And when you're ready, take the left knee and the foot. Foot in between the hands first, then the left knee behind the left wrist. Extending the right leg out behind you. 
starting with an upright spine, head in alignment with the neck and the shoulders, taking a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, gently coming forward, moving with grace, moving with love, being kind and gentle to your body will bring the relaxation to the mind and the spirit. Folding forward, however it feels right for you today and staying focused on your intention Noticing if the mind is wandering, bring it back to your intention. On the next inhale, gently tuck the chin into the chest, pushing up, bringing the head and the neck and the shoulders in alignment, and gently coming over onto the left hip and taking the right foot outside of the left knee. And with a straight back, take a deep inhale. Yogi's choice, maybe hook the right elbow around the right knee, maybe inhale the right arm up and taking the elbow of the right arm on the inside of the right knee, whatever feels comfortable for you, twisting, releasing anything that no longer serves you. Inhaling center and taking the rotation of the head and the body over to the right, twisting it out to release. And when you're ready, coming center again, extending the legs out in front of you. Come with a straight back. Yogi's choice, maybe the hands high up to the heavens, maybe the hands on top of your thighs. Flex the feet, and then on the inhale, release the feet, let them relax. Exhaling, folding forward very gently from the hips. And when you come to the point of resistance, pausing there a moment, taking a deep inhale, and exhale, fold forward. 
allowing the head, the neck, and the shoulders to completely release. Focusing on your intention. Repeating your intention silently to yourself and allowing your spirit just to melt away into your intention. On the next inhale, tuck the chin to the chest, bringing the head, the neck, and the shoulders in alignment with the spine, pausing there a moment. And this is where, yogi friends, I invite you to either lay down in Shavasana to really release and let go. Maybe that's calling to you if it's the end of the day. Maybe it's calling to you even at the beginning of the day so that you can allow your body, your mind, and your spirit to take in all the beautiful energy that you just created. Or I invite you to join me for an upright position. We go into a moment of silence, focusing on that intention you set. Wherever you are today in your practice, look in the comments below the description for links to my live classes, my upcoming retreats, and so much more. I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Leave me a comment. And remember to hit the like button and subscribe from my heart to yours. I wish you blessings of abundance in body, mind, and spirit.